Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. Have you ever wondered about driving the M20 when they've got the contraflow on and you've got a speed restriction of 50 miles an hour? Is it gonna be worth your while or should you detour to the A2? And that's specifically if you're thinking about heading to the continent, you're taking a ferry or you're going across on the channel, you know, the, the train. So I thought I would do the trip but not to France, obviously. Leeds, Leeds services. Yes, we have a Leeds in Kent. <laughs> so we're going from Leeds to Ashford, junction to junction, and it's going to be contraflow, isn't it? It's going to be 50 miles an hour, all of that kind of stuff. Let's see how we get on. Let's see how many people race past me when I'm doing 50 and they're cruising along at, I don't know, whatever miles an hour they do. Because it is variable speed limits as well. It's a nice evening for a drive. Yeah, you've got to navigate out of the services. But you know, I like to do my videos nowadays. I think when I started the channel, I was already driving and then just hitting the arm, arming the video. And I thought, someone could clock me doing that, fiddling with devices, you know, while I'm driving. I think it's a lot easier to start when you're stationary, turn everything on, and then turn it off when you get to your destination. That's the way I plan it, and it seems to work. Drive through Costa. Drive through, pa oh, diesel 175. You know you get ripped off at these um, services because the current rate, I paid 149 just yesterday at a garage. That's like 24p more, 26p, because my math is good like that. Hey ho. So we're coming out of the services, we'll join the motorway. It will be 70 mile an hour as soon as we start. and then we'll very quickly get into the 50 mile an hour zone. So this trip is all about the M20 with its contraflow and we'll probably be shifted over onto the other side of the carriageway because they keep the left hand side for all the trucks. And we're driving out of the sun. The sun is behind us. Lovely stuff. Oh. Looks like they've taken it away. Maybe it's just going to be a drive along the M20 then. Yeah, they've taken the contraflow away. Who knew? Scrap that intro. We're just going to do junction to junction on the M20. Come along, anyway. If nothing else, I'll get home earlier. <laughs> Normally I'd be on that side of the road by now. Ah, oh, damn. That was a well-planned video. I had the whole intro in my mind. I'm gonna talk about, you know, you're coming from up north or you come from Scotland and you've never done this bit. And I would have given you a lovely little drive through the contraflow. <laughs> the one time I was looking forward to doing it as well. Never mind. Tell you what, maybe we can observe how many people stay in the middle lane. Because <laughs> a lot of people will do that. Bumpy, bumpy. Let's catch out the speeders, shall we? How many are going to go past me? I'm at exactly 70 miles an hour. Someone in a rental van, they don't care, do they? They can go a lot faster. I 
I'm always reminded when I'm on the M20 of that Frankie Boyle joke when he's on Mock the Week. And he goes, thinking about drinking and driving, the M20 is surprisingly quiet on the on a Saturday night. <laughs> no excuse. Debris in the road. Some kind of breakdown going on. Oh, his tyre was shredded. Crikey. Still doing 70. It's actually quite quiet. A couple of motorcycles coming up behind me. still always have to keep your wits about you on the motorway because things change very very quickly so it's probably best to stay in the inside lane as well that rental van could have moved in still not reached the other white car yet I wonder what the reasoning is behind the contraflows that they usually have in place. Do they have forewarning of strikes at the ferry ports and so they have to control the number of trucks and the congestion? You know, I came through here last weekend and I was doing 50 miles an hour on the other side of the carriageway and now a week later anyway saying that up ahead we've got two lane closures 600 yards so anticipate some slowing down that little white car's not going to get past the truck is he I'm wondering, can we get past the truck so we don't have a truck sitting in front of us? Oh, they're just about to start it. <laughs> that was the end of the lane restriction. I think something's going down. They're going to um, close down the M20. this is fine I haven't done this stretch on my videos yet on my channel I usually only go from um, Ashford to Folkestone don't I so I've not done this section leads to Ashford I think, you know, I'll pass the Mini any second, but he seems to be increasing his speed as I approach. <laughs> Which makes me think, should I be going in? But we do eventually pass. Because I don't like sticking out in the wrong lane. I do like keeping it left. Unless overtaking, right? It's usually the gantry sign. I'm a little bit disappointed. I wanted to show you the contraflow. And I can't edit the beginning, can I? <laughs> it is what it is. Amazing cloud formations up ahead. 
Can we do a storm? It's a funny thing because I was saying to myself as I was preparing for doing the video was that the journey from Leeds to Ashford on the M20 normally takes 12-15 minutes but I was anticipating a 25 minute video walking along there and I think so far I don't know eight or nine minutes and we're nearly at the next junction so a relatively quick video And I have you as my passenger. And we're talking away. Well, you're listening. I'm talking. <laughs> Did I tell you the one about... I could, I could spout out life stories, couldn't I? Do it as like a, a vlog or a, a podcast. I like driving in my car and telling my life stories. There was a time... Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll think about that for a future channel And invite guests You know, what's his name, Corden Does the um, singing in the car How about just, you know, banter between two passengers Has that been done? Let me know If there are any channels out there that do that My guest today is my good friend, Mark How you doing, Mark? That kind of thing. <laughs> He's come up with some wicked ideas for some photography. I've not replied to him yet. He sent me the message like at 11.30 last night. <laughs> so watch out on my photography channel because there's going to be a collaboration between me and him. I think that'll be fun. Do you do that? When you're passing a car, do you look to see what the people look like? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Hmm. Not far to the junction. I think I'll take us down to the Eureka Business Park. Just pull up outside Dobby's or something. Guys, absolutely amazing, especially behind me, with rays of sunshine coming down. Volvo. The mm, Svenska bil. Om du pratar svenska. Vet du vad jag um, oh, menar? Vet du vad jag menar? <laughs> jag glömde bort vad, vad det ordnar. <laughs> anyway, back to English. We're coming off at this junction. Camera not in use. It's a jolly good thing as well closed overnight the 10th of June for three nights. Hang on a minute, it's the 11th of June now. Does that mean it's closed in a minute and I'm thinking about going home? <laughs> I'm not going to film the rest of the trip. I just wanted to do this one. And I've done Ashford to Folkestone. Done it to death, as they say. Don't need to see that video again. I need some new inspiration. I need some new locations to visit. If you've got any ideas, drop me a comment. I'm willing to go further afield, but I'll have to do multiple journeys, multiple videos on, you know, say someone said, go to 
Nottingham or go to Norwich or go to Norfolk or Suffolk then I'd have to do at least three or four videos to make it worth my while. I suppose I could do a sequence, could my playlist. I did a Derbyshire one once, playlist up here. Let's just pull up at the entrance to Dobby's, it's locked but I'm not going in, I'm just pulling up to stop. That was Junction 8 to Junction 9 on the M20 with lots of waffle. I do apologise, I had hoped it would be contraflow. Turns out to be just a straight run. Hey -ho. When the contraflow is black, black? When the contraflow is black, no, <laughs> I must be getting tired. When the contraflow is back, then I will do a video so that you wouldn't be surprised at how easy it is to travel. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bearing with, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care. Mm.